Bag fuel, baby. When did you understand to scale your, your, your situation? Because you said you're working 12, 13 hours. Yeah. So obviously you're not working a regular job, but you're putting 12, 13 hours into your passion. Right. When did you understand that it's time to leave this? What was that moment? How much were you making per month? Because that's a tricky thing yeah. to understand. It's also a scary thing because you could have a, a couple of bad months and you're Absolutely. married at the time. Let's Absolutely. keep it. That's a different pressure. Right. When, when, when was that moment for you? As soon as we could pay the bills with, the, with YouTube, mm -hmm. social media. How much was that, it making for, per month? For us to be able to walk away from, yeah. from the day jobs and stuff, I would say like five grand maybe. Got you. Yeah. Five grand. When you started, you really were starting small and low. Yeah, so five at the grand was able to pay all your shit and then you use that as the basis and the foundation. And Everything's you basically work. gonna go up from here because I'm gonna keep my finances and everything low. Right, just smart. Gonna build this out. And one thing we did that, like, I pride myself on this, uh, is that we always like believed in reinvesting. We believed in our craft so much that as soon as we start making a little bit in addition to the rent, in addition to paying the bills, we would put that right back into okay. equipment. What the, to about to say, What did you do when you reinvestment? So you 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 bought more equipment. Yep. How how did you reinvest into the content? You bought ads or something? No, nah, no, nah, everything into the content. In terms of our YouTube career, every single view has been organic. We've never done paid ads or nothing. Everything has been organic. Seven billion views, natural. So when you say um, you reinvest in content, yeah, what what is that? For example, like, let's say you, there's only so much you can film at home, right? Mm -hmm. As a family, we'll do all the challenges, and then we're like, okay, we feel like you know we've already done everything. Let's take a trip, and let's spend this YouTube money on. And another big thing too, one of the reasons that that has been crucial for us is because, you know, it's a family business. The whole family's involved. We've got three kids, everyone's involved. So in order, like, we don't want the kids to feel like it's stressful or they're working. So what we made it, like, very important for us to do is that there has to be a connection between making content and having fun. So we'll reinvest into experiences, memories, trips, having fun shit going on at the house. Like, for example, on the weekend, we'll call, like, the company that brings these huge slides into the pool, We'll get a bounce house for the weekend. Then next week, we'll take a trip. And it may look like, okay, yeah, they live in lavish. Definitely, it's the fruits of our labor. But in the back of our minds, that's how do we stay relevant, longevity. How do we you know, constantly come up with new ideas? It's by reinvesting. In addition to that, a big thing is like getting your time back, right? Because I started this whole thing for the time. Because when I was working that 13, 14 hours doing the overtime in the call centers, I never saw my son, mm -hmm. right? You know probably see him like an hour a day. He would go, I would work the nights, he would go to a daycare in the morning, I would never see him. I worked weekends, I would never see him. So the point I'm making is that the whole reason the why was to have time as a family. So my point is we reinvested into editors, into, um, you know, script writers sometimes, into actors even oh, sometimes. you even have so, script writers and actors on, on, on your side? Yeah, because one of our main channels, actually our biggest channel, we do like 100 million views a month on this one channel. It's uh, mostly skits. So it's like a mini movie in like a 10 minute episode. So we'll, you know, we'll get, we do 99% of the creativity, but yeah, we'll bring in actors, script writers sometimes. Wow, and just, okay. Again, how do we make it different and just keep reinventing ourselves? Yeah. And then when you got the capital coming in, it's also gonna be a write off of your reinvestment. You have to give it to the government anyway. You have to so, spend so, it. So, so <laughs> you yeah. gotta spend it, so I might as well spend it on the people that's gonna make my stuff bigger, write it off, get them paid. Yep. And now, you have your own company and you got people that are um, your employees. Right, exactly.